there, eu sou a Mara Arruda, eu sou coach e professora de inglês e eu estou fazendo um intercâmbio aqui em Londres com a IC Group Education. Hoje eu vou fazer um tour lá na escola onde eu estou estudando, eu e os meus alunos que vieram junto comigo aqui para fazer o intercâmbio e vou mostrar para vocês todos os detalhes lá na escola, o que, que tem, como é que faz para chegar, enfim, me acompanha, vem comigo e aproveita já deixa o seu like e se inscreva no canal para ficar sempre por dentro das dicas que rolam por aqui. Olha pro lado certo da rua, pelo amor de Deus, tá? Porque aqui vocês, vocês sabem, aqui é tudo do lado contrário. Olha pros dois lados para ter certeza que tá olhando pro lado certo. Hi there, eu sou a Inamara Ruda, eu sou coach e professora de inglês. Hoje eu estou aqui na Nacel, um colégio onde eu vim estudar com alguns é, estudantes brasileiros junto com a IC Group Education. E hoje eu tenho uma special guest here. Uh, ela vai mostrar pra gente a escola. So, hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Amber and welcome to Nacel in London. I'm going to show you around the building today. Cool, so Amber, you work here for Nacel for... How long? Um, I've been here for a year and a half now. Okay. So lots of Brazilian students. Lots of lovely Brazilian <laughs> students. Cool. So we're gonna show you around. Let's go. So this is the office. Okay. Um, it's the first place that you would come when you come to the school and uh, you have your first day. So okay. You come us. Come to see us first. That's the front desk. This is the front desk, and you have Miriam here. Hello. Who will meet you? <laughs> Cool. So this is the first place you come when you arrive here, right? Yeah. So okay. on your first day, you come to the office and we'll do a level test and enroll you officially. Okay. Cool. Okay. And then if we go this way, um, so you have information of things that are happening in London over the next few weeks and also the activities which one of our teachers will run. Okay, so all the important information that you can find in here. Mm -hmm. Of course, important information, but it's a small school, everyone's very friendly, so you can come and ask us, yeah. and it's easy to get the information. Very in. good. Easy peasy. Okay. okay, if you go this way. So on this floor, we have three classrooms. We have one here and two behind me. Okay. And we also have a board here with lots of information about English exams. Lots of people come here wanting to progress and go to university right. or have uh, some certificate to say, I have this level. Like proficiency um, certificates, like FCE, yeah, TOEFL. Yeah, the FCE, the Cambridge, um, the TOEIC. Different countries have different exams that yes. they like. And they can find all the information in here yeah, as well. The information is here, but again, the teachers, they they know everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm not happy to answer the questions. Okay, awesome. Okay. If Good we, to know. Yeah, should we go upstairs? Yes. We have two more classrooms. So here we have a special area. I've been here before. It's like a, a space for coffee, lunch, or just hang out with the students, right? Yeah, of course. So this is the student area, the place that they will come and breaks and have lunch and to socialize. It's a great place for meeting students in different classes. Mm -hmm. So maybe if your English is a little bit lower, you're still gonna have the opportunity to meet people who are at much higher level awesome. and for that cultural exchange. Which sure. Which is great. Yeah, absolutely. So they've got here um, a little desk and um, some chairs and some facilities here as well, like microwave and a little fridge, hot water. So we all sorted yes. here. <laughs> um, okay, if we go into this here. 
Okay, it's also very similar space for students when they're outside of classes. Yeah. We have some computers which they can use and we also have our very own small library. Okay, so if they want to use like any like videos or maybe because we've got the DVDs there as yeah, well, we have right? DVDs and books. And we also have other books. These books, um, people are always saying, Amber, how can I improve that little bit faster? How do I practice? The big thing is reading. Yeah, absolutely. And we have some books that are designed specifically for students who are learning English. Awesome. Uh, so it's not going to be really difficult. It's for your level. Specifically for your level. Yes. Yeah, so That's great. Here, so you have like elementary to proficiency. Okay. Yeah. I've learned a lot of English reading. So I always tell my students like, if you really want to learn uh, and get like real input it's always through listening or reading mm -hmm. so if you have the opportunity to improve it a little bit more so this is the area guys yeah. cool okay. and we have one more class in here but we're not going to go in yeah they are, they are in class now <laughs> we're gonna leave it for now yeah okay very good so this is um this side of the building and i believe they also have got another um building crossing the road yeah. right across this we have two buildings building one where you have reception yeah. and building two where there are some more classes okay so let's go and see it okay perfect <laughs> Legal, então agora a gente vai sair aqui desse prédio para a gente conhecer o outro prédio que fica do outro lado da rua. A Amber vai levar a gente até lá. É só atravessar a rua e já é logo ali, ó. Vou mostrar para vocês. Tá vendo ali? Na céu, é logo ali. Vamos atravessar. Okay, this is the school. We're here, literally opposite. You can see both buildings. Yeah, just the other side and this side, and then, yeah, let's see it. Okay, and then inside, and we go upstairs, and we're the building on the left. Okay. Switching on the lights, so okay, this and is another building. This is building two. Um, there's no one here now, so okay. it's really quiet. So you have a classroom here. One classroom here. Uh, teacher's room. Teacher's room. And three more classrooms. I've been to one of these classes yeah. when I was um, having my course. <laughs> this classroom is really lovely. Oh, um, that's lovely. It's quite big. Yeah, it's massive. So, um, so in this room you have the whiteboard for like quick use and also the smart board yeah. um, with the projector. Great, all facilities. And usually how many students do you have in each room? Okay, the maximum in a class is 15. Mm -hmm. um, we won't go over this, but it depends on the level. Usually if you're lower or higher, yeah. it can be as small as four or five. But usually maximum 15 students yeah, in a class. Never more than never, 15. Okay. I'd say the average at the moment is about 10. Okay. That's really good because the teacher can really um, focus on each student mm -hmm. and give them attention as well. So yeah, we find, uh, me, myself, I find that the school isn't really big mm -hmm. um, and we have a few members of full-time staff yeah and you really get that attention it's much more than a school it's like a small community. yeah absolutely usually in a school you we have like what 50 students in each class yeah or not in the UK. not in the uk <laughs> yeah in brazil you can have 50 students in a class so 15 should be more than fine yeah, yeah. and you find that your like support kind of goes without outside of the class yes and um, the teachers are always around mm -hmm. the same with the admin staff so you'll find that people are checking up on you asking how things are going yes. with your host family great and it's just that constant practice and security that yes absolutely caring. that's very important very good myself <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is our biggest classroom okay. um we use this a lot for groups as well as in uh, if we are doing a big activity or we are going to bring more than one class together for a special event and we would use special this. events should be fine in here <laughs> plenty <Yeah>. of space <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, yeah, well, we often have food parties and that would happen. Food yes. parties, I like that one. Yeah. Well, Next one, invite me. Okay. <laughs> uh, classroom number two. Oh yeah, this is the one that I've had my class. So let me show you really quickly. This is the room, also quite big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, very good. And one more class here. This is our small classroom. And we often use this classroom and our smaller classrooms for our one-to-ones mm -hmm. or our tutorials. We have tutorials with students every month. Right. How does it work? The tutorials? So we have a test and students say here test and they get really scared yes. and nervous. This is for the student to see their progress. Very good. So we can tell them, oh, it's your listening that needs to be improved yeah. or it's your grammar. This is the coaching part of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the students do the test in class and then afterwards the teacher takes them aside for five minutes. Mm -hmm. And they talk about the results and give them advice and steps very to good. improve. Very good. Yeah, it awesome. works very well, and it's that personal attention that is oh, that make makes all the, the individual improve. Absolutely, very oh. good. Okay. Lovely building. So, is this it, this or is, is that it? something else? Oh, toilets, uh, toilets, there. and water fountain. Okay. Well, very good. So, I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your thumbs up. <laughs> I see you on the next video. Okay, bye. bye. Thank you. <laughs>